Hi, I'm Martha. Welcome to Essential Somatics. Recently, we held a couple of Ask Me Anything webinars, and it was so much fun. There were a lot of fabulous questions, several of which we just didn't have time to answer. So on this channel in the next couple of months, we're going to answer some of the most common questions. Let's start with the first one. Which somatic movement is the best for releasing chronic tension and pain from the area of my lower back down to my tailbone? I do arch and flatten, and yet sometimes that area flares up instead of relaxes and releases. What am I doing? Well, my answer to this person is that it's probably not arch and flatten as a movement that is the problem. It's the way in which you're doing the movement. There are a couple of common things that we see when people learn this movement on their own. So let me show you how to work with them. So I'm going to show you what you might be doing when you do arch and flatten that could be contributing to a little bit of tension and discomfort in your lower back and tailbone. Remember that arch and flatten should create comfort and ease rather than tension and discomfort. It's not the movement itself that is problematic. It could be how you're doing it that is creating the challenge. Here's the first thing we see that a lot of people do. They simply work too hard. It looks like this. There's no need to work so hard. As you arch and release, make it like a yawn. As the pelvis rolls forward, notice the gentle arch that comes into your back. Contract just as much as is necessary to feel what you're doing. This is not exercise, this is exploration. So a gentle rolling of the pelvis forward, enough so that you can feel what your back is doing. And then a slow, mindful, aware release. That's all. The second thing is that a lot of people don't let go of their belly. They keep it tight all the time. They're simply not aware of it. Here's what it looks like. My abdominals are tight and it's almost impossible for me to roll my pelvis forward, but watch closely. As I let go of my belly, all the way down to my pubic bone, my pelvis rolls easily and effortlessly. I don't have to try. It's the releasing of my abdominals that allows the back to contract. One thing you can do is to explore with your hands on your abdominals, on the center of your body, and notice whether or not you're allowing the belly to get soft and long as your back gently arches and your pelvis rolls. Now the third thing we see is that people contract their abdominals to bring their back to the floor. It looks like this. Now, when I did it that way, I simply didn't release my back. The way to work with that is, again, hands on your belly. You come into your arch, put your focus on your back. And as you slowly, slowly release, keep breathing into your hands. Let your back muscles release without the help of your belly. For those of you who have a tendency to contract your abdominals all the time, this may be a new sensation. And the only other thing that I would advise is if, if you are very thin and you have a protruding tailbone, now this is your structure, put a little bit of extra padding 
underneath your sacrum, maybe an extra uh, soft blanket or a little cushion. That may also help you. So I hope some of these pointers have been helpful to you. Explore them, see if they apply to you, and I hope Arch and Flatten becomes one of the most luscious, enjoyable, and comfortable movements that you have in your daily practice. Thanks for joining me.